let's say you want to send people to a URL on your website. Like maybe you're going to create a pin on Pinterest and you want to send people there, but you want to actually put it on the screen. Maybe you're doing story pins or video pins or something like that, where it's not really as easy to link to your site. Or maybe you want to share this link um, with someone verbally. Like you want to be able to say, oh, for the Saran Wrap ball game on my site, you just need to go to da -da 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 and a short, a short little slug, right? This part after the main domain name is the slug. And if I was to sell some, tell somebody, go to smartphonediy.com forward slash plastic dash saran dash wrap dash ball dash game. No one's gonna remember that, right? No one's gonna remember that. And so there's some times where we can't share a link with someone that's clickable and we're gonna wanna share it with them verbally or visually, maybe on a picture or something, and they're not gonna wanna type this in. So how do you make a short link? So I'm gonna show you how to make a custom short link. And I'm just gonna show you an example of this. I'm here on my Pinterest account and I actually made a story pin and I have this short link here that actually goes to this post with the plastic saran wrap ball game. Um, and here's the, the post and you can see the pictures are there and everything and I give them all the info about how to do this. Um, but this is a story pin, it doesn't have a link. So when you click it, it just goes to the next slide. And so what I did is I used um, this technique I'm gonna show you for how to create a custom domain for your short link and how to set that all up with Bitly. I used that technique in order to um, create this link here. And so this is not clickable, but it's something really easy that someone could just type in, make this dot link slash ball really easy to remember. So if I was teaching a craft class, I could say this during the class and people could easily go to that URL um, without having to take a picture and try to like type it out and all of that. Um, if I'm sharing it somewhere like this um, online where people can't actually click, uh, even if, like if you're doing this for your Instagram stories, for example, or somewhere else where people can't click TikTok, you could do the same thing to make this short link um, there. So let's get into how to actually uh, get the domain, get the domain name and then connect it to Bitly so you can start generating those short links. I actually happen to own make this dot link um, because I am a DIY blogger. So I can go here and upgrade. Um, so save 17%. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter all my details. So I've completed my purchase. So now I just need to add my domain. So here you can search for a domain and purchase it or already own a domain, add it here. Okay, so you're gonna go over to advanced DNS and you're going to add an A name record. So add an A record and the host is at symbol. So if I go here at symbol and that's the first one, so I'm gonna copy that and add it here. The IP address and check mark that. And then I'm going to add another A record. The host is at and I'm gonna add the second one. And check mark that. And that should be it. So I'm gonna go back to my Bitly account and go ahead and choose next and then use a custom domain in, in place of your Bitly links. So here is what it is. It is make this dot link next success. It can take up to 24 hours. It usually works pretty quick. So it's already verified. So you gotta set this up where to direct when there's no back half. So if they, if they come, if they click that, if they just put in like make this dot link, I want them to go directly to my website. And then um, the same thing here. And we wanna go ahead and click save. Go here to your account. You're gonna go to group settings. You're gonna go to domain default and make sure that it's checked for your custom domain, okay? Then you're gonna go to create and it will create it with your custom domain. So here we have make this dot link. And so I'm just gonna call it um, X for Xyron, cause that's what <laughs> it's for. So I'm just gonna put X and save, and now it's going to be updated and saved. Okay, so now if they go to make this dot link slash X, right, if I copy that, it's going to redirect to my post. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in there and it goes straight to my candy corn Halloween printable post. So that's how to set up a custom bit link so that you don't have to have a long slug following your, um, your bit.ly and you have a custom bit.ly.